All right, lads, I got another Path of Exile build for you. Uh, let's go load up a map. It's going to be uh, Tier 15 Abyss with uh, double boss and like some lightning damage and some other garbage. Uh, so this is a Summon Raging Spirits and Zombies build. Uh, it's a combination of both. Basically, I had a really nice Summon Raging Spirits build uh, last league, and I really wanted to uh, kind of relive the glory of that, but they nerfed the crap out of... Uh, uh, Necromancer, pretty pretty substantially actually. So I kind of did make did make did with like the best that I had, and uh, obviously also ES was also nerfed also to the freaking ground. So basically, what I'm trying to do early on is I'm just trying to get out. The clear speed is nice. I'm just being slow as balls for whatever reason. Because Summon Raging Spirits always has really nice clear speed. Um, there is no uh, no mod that this this uh, this build can't do. Literally nothing. Uh, you got Volpact, you got, uh, you got Leech from Zombies. Oh shit, that's a lot of stuff there. So, uh, I use Mana and Potions to st effectively sustain my Insulin Raging Spirits up until the point at which I have Volt Clarity. And this map hurts. And when you have Volt Clarity, then it's basically gloves off at that point. Uh, so you just basically go through the map, it's like a 30 second Volt Clarity, you get to... Uh, Free summon raging spirits. Re realistically, nothing about this build is actually really new or unique. I, I just think I'm the first person. Well, not the first person, but uh, I kind of just put it all together. But I, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I've never seen anyone make like a video or anything on this kind of thing because I, I looked long and hard, man. I looked long and hard for a, a, a worthy success for summon raging spirits build. And so this, this is probably uh, this is probably the closest thing. Uh, I actually really like it. I mean, it's just really incorporating, like, your vanilla zombies and your vanilla summon raging spirits. I know there's a lot of people use the Baron Helmet with the, uh, just the summon raging spirits, but, uh, uh, whatever, I'll just roll this. Whatever. There's garbage, what can you do? Uh, some people do Baron and not the zombies, and I try- I want to really incorporate the zombies as a part of it, so... Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a fun playstyle as well, because uh, I feel like it's just missing DPS if you don't do it. But obviously you can't have another 6 link. Uh, well, I mean, not not in the way I do it, but I'll explain it more more at the end. So we're at the boss now, so this is uh, probably going to be hard. Alright, it's not hard. Oh, whatever. Okay, double boss down of Abyss. Alright, let's go look at what the build is. So you get the idea. Um, it's just basically uh, just summoning a bunch of raiding spirits. Works like any other SRS build that you've ever seen. And then we have the zombies to go with it. The DPS is in the millions. Uh, I have, I'm have. i going to have like a little paste bin link below for what I did on Path of Building. Uh, but I'll fundamentally go through the basics of it. Um, so because of the fact... Uh, Commander in Darkness isn't that great anymore. It has like, uh, or as you grant, uh, they give you 3% attack and cast speed for, uh, for to unit allies. That used to be 5%. And then you basically, the, the whole support SRS build was basically to stack as many ores as possible. Now, these days, you aren't rewarded for as ma uh, stacking as many. Uh, so I decided to opt out. Uh, I opted away from that. And I basically decided to go with just, you gain the flat 30% increased damage uh, by auras, and ob obviously the elemental damage is good too. I also went the route of cast damage, although you can go for flesh binder as well, they're both, uh, sorry, cast resistance. Um, you can go for the physical damage reduction too if it, if it um, appeals to you, or you just get the two notes here. Um, uh, both are good, uh, but uh, our requirement is definitely Mistress of Sacrifice and Spirit Eater and uh, Commander of Darkness. Those are like the core three to this build. Uh, and so essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to escape the Witch Tree as, as quickly as humanly possible, and you basically have a bunch of these efficient training jewels all over the place. Now, the thing about my build is it's not uh, entirely optimal with regards to how much strength I'm getting from gear, but I'll tell you what you should basically try and shoot for. So I have Violent Dead, and I use Violent Dead uh, instead of having... I mean, it gives you 15% increased minion damage, but I figured it's also a good uh, DPS bu boost as well as uh, uh, replacement for minion splash uh, on the zombies themselves. Uh, but the thing is, your Summon Raging Spirits do have minions, uh, uh, minion splash, so... I mean, it's either either one. Uh, but uh, this is kind of the way I worked it out. Uh, these are replaceable, though, I'd say. Uh, if you don't want Violent Dead, these are two places I decided to put it. Um, you don't have to have it. 
Uh, I just decided to incorporate a part of my build. I just, I, I like it. What can I say? So it's a strength stacking build. You're trying to get as much strength as possible, as well as uh, you need these skill effect duration nodes uh, wherever possible. Uh, and I found these three nodes to be enough to run my two auras. Uh, and also a vault pact as well. So essentially what you want is you want the ability to raise another zombie and so I get 125 mana so I can do that uh, without having to uh, you, you can raise a zombie without having to have vault clarity up although I would suggest maybe having a bit more mana than that because it means I have to pop a, pop my flask every time and the thing I rolled on it is once you get your stuff uh, six linked because it's um, the, the Stone Raging Spirit costs 56 mana. Once you once you get your 6 link going, the mana cost is going to be extremely high. So I can't even maintain, like, your, I can't even maintain my mana all the way. Like, I, I can't necessarily cast that fast, and that's not that's not even counting the fact I don't even have this, though. So it's there is a bit of a gap, but, like, that's what you want, is you want your mana flash to be going all the time. Which means, guess what, you can do... Uh, you can do maps without any regen or anything. There's really nothing you can't do. I mean, physical damage hurts these guys a lot, but if you trade in some stuff like physical lightning and things like that, then it works. It still works. Anyways, uh, continuing on, yeah, we get as much life as possible. Uh, get some regen. Uh, well, we don't need the regen, but we need the strength. Uh, and that's... And, and oh, yes, the big one is Necromantic Aegis. We uh, skip in for that. And uh, once again, we got efficient training jewels. And I think I got a couple Brawn Jewels, yeah. So I probably can get another Brawn Jewel. I, I'm for whatever reason using, using this Cobalt Jewel as a, a buffer for some more uh, res resistances. I didn't really get great rings on this build, so... Uh, but I'll show you more about that in a sec. Uh, yeah, so we got we got one Brawn Jewel. Uh, I guess I, I think I have another one here, yeah. So two. So the, the key is to keep your uh, intelligence at a point of which... You can run, uh, you can run the zombies and whatever you need in this dexterity as well. Usually, about 150 intelligence is all you need. Uh, obviously, get, having more gives you a bit more mana and a bit more buffer to raise zombies. But hey, you know what? Your your mileage may vary. The key is here the perfect 1200 uh, strength. You don't need perfectly 1200. You just need over that. For some reason, it just worked out to be 1200. Um, so the key uh, items for this build. Uh, so I would say the requirements are, I would say the Baron is obviously, the, the entire build is centered around it. Uh, so you get basically more maximum zombies per 300 strength, you get some leech there, and I have vault packs so I get that leech back instantly. Your strength is added to your minions so it makes them all more, more stronger, uh, things like that. And plus that you get the plus two uh, lo uh, level of succulent minion uh, gems in this helm. Uh, so this is where I decided to put my, zo my zombies, they have a... Uh, so it's, they're level 21, so they're 23 in this helm, so it's like zombie, multi-strike, melee physical, mini damage. I, I would say that the only one that is you can swap out is multi-strike, uh, if you don't like multi-strike, but uh, the rest of them are, are whatever you want. Now, the game is still, uh, sorry, the, the build is still, still core. Uh, I, I realized that I, I played around with some of the kind of build setups, and I tried to put uh, some raging spirits inside the helm instead and zombies in the chest piece. And I just found that, I don't know, the damage gains weren't that great. So, zombies just scale really well with levels and not much else, honestly. Just uh, minion damage and melee physical, obviously, and multi-strike helps their attack speed. I, I found that I, I actually really liked having summon raging spirits inside the chest piece. Uh, so I have that. Um, melee splash, which I swap out for multi-strike if I'm doing like a difficult boss. Uh, we got minion damage, we got melee physical, we got maim, and that's an important one. And then elemental damage with attacks because uh, we got we have a we got hatred and we got a on, hatred on generosity and also an implicit thing is that twenty percent uh, sorry I think it's fifty percent of their damage is automatically converted to fire as well, so they actually gain a lot from that. Um, another option here is uh, if you don't want maim, you can have elemental focus or something. But I figured that the maim helps not only them, but it also helps my uh, my zombies out. And then the three other things here, I have in my my uh, my little uh, weapon here, I have Summon Lightning Golem, Animate Guardian, and the Minion Life. Uh, minion Life is mostly for Animate Guardian. I really don't think you do need that, or you don't, you don't really need the Animate Guardian period, technically, but he's got some nice buffs on him. Like, he's got a Dying Breath, Victorio's Flight. So, he's giving us these auras, by the way. You and your eyes have increased movement speed. Uh, Kingmaker's Presence, he's got the axe uh, that gives all of my people call. 
everybody has call here and increased red item uh, rarity. You can use Dying Breath as well. Uh, that's what I did before with this build, if you find the Kingmaker to be too expensive. Uh, but I, it's about 15 chaos at this point in the league, so... And my my summon doesn't die that much, and usually when he's about to die, I just uh, swap out of my weapon slot, and that's it. You just kind of hit X twice, and he's gone. Um, we also use the, um, the Lightning Golem, and the reason we use the Lightning Golem is we benefit from... Both the attack and cast speed. Uh, we get the cast speed from. In, uh, sorry, we get the attack speed for moving around with shield charge, and we get the cast speed because we actually really need cast speed really badly with this build to try and maintain those twenty, um, uh, the twenty summon raging spirits. It's really difficult to get up to that, and so every bit of cast speed you can get that isn't from the tree uh, is very much welcome. Uh, so that's why we have that one. Uh, so I, I have that one. I, I honestly thought it was the best one for this build. Uh, I mean, you know, as I said, your mileage may vary. Uh, and for, we don't have a good helmet enchant, unfortunately. Uh, so, I mean, obviously anything that would help your minions out would be great. Uh, that would be wonderful. So as for rings, as I told you before, it was the weakest part of this build. Uh, I mean, realistically, what you want is life, strength, and resistances. Uh, this one has a mana roll, which is also pretty good, too, for getting up to that 125. Um, and so, 1200 strength, at least for me, was actually absolutely perfect for uh, getting that uh, just six zombies out. And uh, honestly, that's what I'd say you should shoot for, um, is 1200, because with everything together, uh, that's pretty much uh, the best you can get. Uh, we got an Astramentus here, that's also a requirement for this build. And... Lycosite. So I showed you before I had, or Lycosite, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I showed you before that I had uh, Necromantic Aegis. And one of the biggest DPS boosts you can actually give all of your minions is th the shield, actually. Uh, your hits can't be evaded. There's no other way of get really giving them more accuracy except for giving them the accuracy gem. Um, I, I can't think of any other ways of doing it, of helping that situation, but they actually have an abysmal chance to hit. They hit half the time. You are literally de doubling your DPS by Necromantic Aegis thing with this shield. I, I would say I thought it was great. It was like a, so good actually for this build. You can actually, as I said, Path of Building link is below. Uh, you can try it without, but I, I found it to be a major, major boon to DPS by having this. Um, they're not expensive either, actually, ironically. Uh, just a couple of chaos. Actually, this entire build, the most expensive part is the Baron at the moment. Uh, chest piece is pretty flexible. Um, for the longest time, I actually ran with uh, just some piece of shit. I think I have it here somewhere. Yeah, this one. I had this one for the longest time, and I actually um, had plus one of zombies on it, uh, which is the Katarina mod, which is completely doable. So if you, if you don't want to have the Belly of the Beast, uh, you can instead just get a chest piece with like just some decent rolls of some sort. And some like I use this because it had resistances. I mean, it had a bit of a, it had a nice armor roll on it too, uh, and I just I, I the main thing was I could roll another zombie onto it, so I, I kind of used this for a little while, to uh, and I think I was I think I got to seven zombies with that, but uh, as I said, I eventually went for belly. I sur I decided I was dying too much to one hits, so uh, this is a softcore build by the way, but I'm I'm pretty sure you can transfer this to hardcore, uh, so yeah, I I decided I opted for the belly. Um, but as I said, if you want, you can do this. This is actually an interesting way of doing it. Makes that Katarina mod actually really nice. Uh, yeah, but obviously we use Bunch of Girls Grasp as well, which is, um, makes her zombies super powerful. The thing is, that's interesting about this though, is that this weapon is, I wouldn't say is not a required part of the build. Uh, because it doesn't actually do anything other than double the, da the damage of the, the zombies. Uh, the thing is, though, having fewer zombies be stronger means you're resummoning less of them, uh, and that's the main advantage. I mean, obviously, you know, it helps a little bit for them to have really nice resistances and uh, enemies kill, deal exploding damage, but it's actually not as good as you would think. But I still use it. Um, and I, I don't know if I'd suggest it for you, but there isn't a lot of good one-handers that are fill the slot except for the United and Dream, uh, but I didn't have enough mana to run that anyway so plus cast damage wouldn't do very much for these guys i think so that's how i have that going 
Uh, so we talked about that. I have Vol Clarity. Vol Haste can be swapped out for Vol uh, Grace uh, if needed. Uh, so because I run with um, a friend of mine, Pat, he's playing some sort of support Scion. Uh, so he runs Vol Haste. So whenever I play with him, I just swap out to Vol Grace. But obviously, Vol Haste is very nice for you know uh, just general like killing bosses and and things like that. Generally, the hope is that Vol Clarity is enough to kill the bosses. But if not, uh, the zombies do a pretty good job. Um, I think I think all of them together, the six times something something DPS. I think it, I think all the zombies hitting something together is about a million DPS per second. This is not including anything like maim or anything like that. Uh, you just have to have like Vol haste and everything up so I usually you'll be able to clear stuff and I have done shaper with this build um, I haven't done uber and Siri, but I haven't attempted it really either uh, but that's more of like a mechanical boss fight uh, well so is shaper in a lot of ways but whatever um, so the other ring is also not very good I mean it has the 2 to 8 28 lightning damage roll on it I even rolled uh, men on it so, I mean, you just, I didn't really need resistances that badly. I mean, I'm just barely at the cap. And, I mean, if you had some really good gear, uh, it probably would be better off than I am with these rings. But I just figured there's no point in upgrading them. I was kind of looking for them at some point, but then I got, like, tired of it. Uh, but, as I said, important thing on rings is life and strength. And if you get, like, a, a ring like this, which is, like, double life roll, and... I mean, good luck with that. It's gonna be expensive, but... Because, like, like, this one barely had any resistances on it. That's why I got it for relatively cheap. Um, the last thing here is the belt. Belt's very important. You want the highest strength belt you can get with uh, whatever kind of life roll and resistances that you can muster up. So, this one was a couple of chaos. I, I was lucky with that. Uh, and the gloves. And the gloves you can actually roll uh, additional uh, minion damage onto them, so that's kind of nice. And once again, strength roll on that. And then Aberon's Warpath, uh, which is gives you the... Uh, you want the maximum uh, strength roll on them, so 18%. And that kind of helps you edge out as much uh, strength as you can. And these ones have got Haste, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, Fortify. So Haste needs to affect you, because uh, not only do you get the, the Commander Darkness buff, but... Uh, I mean, you really need cast speed on this build, uh, like I said before. Uh, and the last one here is a Hatred on Generosity with uh, Flesh Offering and Desecrate. Uh, Desecrate is more of like a quality of life thing. Uh, don't really need it. Uh, and, and, uh, and like I said, you don't really need Ming in life here if you don't want it. Uh, you don't even need the Anime Guardian if you don't want it. And so that frees up like three links right there. And so it is entirely possible for you to run some sort of cast on damage taken setup if uh, it suits you better. Uh, but, you know, just just how my build works. I, I mean, it's it's just more of a comfort thing. The, the whole the whole idea around this build is, the fundamentally, it's just about having the Baron, having the like uh, like Saeed shield, having the Aberrant's Warpath, having the Astramentus. And as I said, all the other sockets are very flexible here. Uh, and I didn't, didn't even manage to roll something nice on the Labyrinth for this. And so after you have those core items, uh, you fill in the rest of the slots. And the whole idea is, you have the Mana Flask, to maintain your summon raging spirits and that will clear maps for you and then the zombies the zombies the reason why they kind of take a second uh they're kind of in the back all the time because they're not very fast and their ai is stupid so i i like them as boss killers and for har handling harder content for general trash clear i really like the summon raging spirits and it's not to say they don't have their use um but yeah, as, like I said, I get about, uh, how many uses is this out of this flask? Like six uses out of this flask. And it's usually enough to do uh, basically all the content in the game. And if it's not, then I would just trade out this basalt flask and have another mana flask or something. Or, or maybe this quicksilver. I don't, I don't use a quicksilver a lot. Um, so it's just, I found it to be enough until Vault Clarity gets going. And as I said, I did Shaper with just this one flask. So it was I was able to do it. And I had a five link at the time too. So my other slot, slot you have a, you can see I already have multi strike here, so I just trade that out. That helps with the DPS. The I, I don't have an indicator here. But like I said, like if you if you run into some maps like um, uh, that have like physical reflect, I would just put. It doesn't even have to be a very good physical to lightning, but you put that on here, and that should mitigate a lot of it. Uh, I mean, I was able to even do double reflect. There was a map I I saw one time that had a. a Physical and elemental. We ran it. It was annoying because I had to resummon my zombies every once in a while. 
but I don't know, just depend more on the summon raging spirits then, because they're like, you know, forget for, for, forget about them. And then you have like Vol Grace, they dodge most of the damage, it comes back to them. As I said, there's there's nothing that this this uh this this character can't run. It's actually really good. Um probably one of my favorite builds I did this league. I did a bunch, I did try to bleed Earthquaker and some other stuff and uh uh, it's just the simple stuff that ke keeps me coming back, uh, which is always trying to make a, a decent summoner. I would say the zombies could be a primary part of the build if only they could like we can make their AI aggressive, but we simply cannot do that. Um, so they, you're kind of subjected to their dumb fuckery, which is like you're you're hoping to put the mouse cursor where the enemies are, but like they take time to travel there. You see how slow they are. Uh, I've tried to increase their minion movement speed and things like that, but I mean, honestly, in the end, it just wasn't worth, because the summoner raging spirits are just so good. Uh, and you know what? When you combine them both, and then they have the maim debuff on top of it, it's just amazing. Uh, so my other flasks are just some random ones, like I have a slow heal flask for when I'm going through, like, chaos ground or something. Uh, then we have a instant flask, and basalt flask, and quicksilver, which I don't actually use a lot, but uh, whatever. So, I mean, that's just the fundamentals of the build. Oh yeah, so I guess the new thing about this is uh, the Pantheon. Uh, so I use Soul Linaris basically all the time. I have never changed that, actually. Uh, yeah, no, because uh, this is a build that mostly has problems with physical damage and uh, change projectiles, because the minions always chain them to you. So you can avoid projectiles that are, are chained. I, I'd rather just have that up all the time. Uh, the next one I use is also the Life Flasks gain 3 charges if you haven't used a flask recently. That is a godsend uh, for this build. So, because uh, you're Vault Packed, and so just being able to stand away from danger and get all your flask charges back is pretty neat for some situations. Um, the rest of these are just not very good. Like, you are standing, you are standing still up, but you don't gain anything from the life regen because, well, Vault Packed. So... Anyways, that's uh, pretty much it for this build. So once again, uh, links for passive tree and stuff are in the description below. And so I did manage to irk out 6k strength, uh, and I'm level 93. Uh, so I'll, I guess at the beginning of the video I'll have a uh, showing what DPS they do, but yeah. Uh, the things I would do, I'm level 93, so if I were to continue with the build, so there's two options I can go for. I can go for... I can go Mana, Mana, Jewel Socket, which is a really nice set of uh, Jewel Socket. Because uh, the Mana increases your maximum Mana, which uh, would also really help. And Attack Speed, attack speed Jewel Socket here. So if I want two other Jewel Sockets, they're right there. Uh, alternatively, I can also get some more life right here. Uh, so that's also a possibility. There's some life here, but I, I don't really need the ES. Yes, this is a life-based build, so. Like all of them now in 3.0. The last thing I'll leave you off on is, um, so I will say that one of the things I did while leveling this build uh, is I went for Volpact last. I went for it mostly because I realized that, yeah, um, I need I need the light leech instantly. Uh, so one of the things I had, I don't think I have the ring right now. I forget what it's called. It's the uh, aura ring, the unset one. What the fuck is it called? Of course, of course. Okay, it's essence worm. Uh, I don't seem to have one right now. I must have gotten rid of it. Because they actually do, uh, they are worth a little bit this league it seems. Uh, maybe not anymore, but uh, they were they were when I uh, got one. So the essence worm is an aura uh, is a ring that gives a free aura, but uh, raises global uh, reservation costs. And you can actually use that to level uh, because of the fact I'm running 250 auras. You can put uh, the essence worm, you put haste in that, and then you can still have hatred generosity, and that's. Kind of, I, I had that until I was like level 85 or something. Until I kind of made my way into Volpact and then Charisma. Because I figured I was right here. And that was enough to bring my mana to a manageable point. So that's kind of what I did uh, for my build right there. So that's a, that's a good leveling uh, technique right there. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very fun build. Uh, it clears all content. Uh, no problems whatsoever. It's a lot of fun to do. it's a lot of fun to run if you like summoners, um, but here's to hoping that I don't know maybe they make some zombie overhauls, so I don't have to do like summon rating spirits and zombies. Maybe just focus on one, but who knows? But I think I think it was kind of a neat build how it worked out and actually utilized uh, the Baron's plus two to socket minion gems, 
Uh, so, I, I, as I said, it's the way I worked it out. And I, and I, I find that nothing really helped zombies. I mean, you can put on added fire, you can put on... I don't know what else, faster attacks or something. It really doesn't raise the DPS that much. Not as much as you would think. Uh, not as much as uh, having someone raging spirits around with these links. And the maim is just incredible too. Because everything, uh, everything deals more physical damage when you when you have that on. So It's pretty good. I, I hope you guys give it a spin. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.